Hey, everybody. Hopefully you're having a good day. Uh, hopefully you're killing it in the markets. Uh, looks like the markets were up pretty big. Uh, I'm going to do this a little bit before market close. Uh, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. If you like making money, I can help you do that. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up for this content. Uh, this content is going over uranium. And uranium has had a pretty good run. I want to take a look at it. I know a lot of people are asking, you know, did I miss the boat here? <clears throat> no, 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 no. You miss no boat. Uh, the uranium is, the price of uranium is still low. Yes, people are recognizing that uranium is a very good spot to be. The uranium to gold ratio is still extremely cheap. The valuations of these are still low. They just broke massive patterns, and I'm going to show you what they look like. So be calm. We can look at some of these charts. Maybe there's still some that are that are kind of lagging behind. And I'll give you my opinion on it. So this is a presentation. I call it uh, Belitistic, which is, it's ballistic, but it's a Belita. So I call it Belitistic. So the first one, I'm going to jump right into charting. This is technical analysis. It's North Shore Global Uranium Mining. Obviously, the, look at this thing. It's it, it gapped up higher. Remember, I did this midday. So it's looking good. Is it is it going to come back down? I don't know. There's a lot of momentum here. I mean, look at the volumes down here. The volume's kicking in. Everyone's starting to flood money into this sector. Uh, what I would do is if I own it, I wouldn't do anything. I'd just sit there. Click refresh on the portfolio. It goes up and down. It, it, it doesn't matter. We know that there's deficits out in the future. Those deficits are going to materialize in higher prices. APAAF. Now, I, I like this chart quite a bit. We've got a nice big pull up, we've got the pull back, and then we got a bullish engulfing. I think it looks great. I think it looks great. Uh, UUUU energy fuels from a weekly standpoint. I'm take, taking a big picture view. Uh, it, it, this fell pretty quick. We've got a little bit of sideways movement, but this could also go up quite fast. We've got lots of volume on this, this side over here, especially starting, I'd say, looks like, uh, is that June? must be June 2018, the volume kicked up and it's just remained elevated. So people are accumulating this. Uh, I would propose that we should be, myself would be accumulating this as well. So it looks pretty good. I mean, it's gone pretty vertical. I don't know if this is gonna go pull back or not. There's a lot of momentum here. And I never get, I never step in front of a momentum. You just hang on and sit there. <clears throat> Azarga Uranium Corp. Uh, this one looks like it's still down pretty much. Might be a good value pick uh, in relationship to some of the other ones because it doesn't look like it's had that vertical move at least not yet. Uh, looks like a shoulder, a head, and a shoulder's forming, and maybe this thing will break out. Uh, maybe already did, if you kind of drop on a sideways movement. Uh, but this one looks pretty good, if you like a Zarga. Lightbridge uh, Corporation, I'm kind of zoomed in here. This one's looking pretty good. It's a, it's a big cup, and I think it put in a handle, and then kind of a breakout here. So this is looking pretty strong, uh, if you like Lightbridge. Base load energy. Now, this one looks really good to me. This one looks excellent to enter because we've got the contraction. What this is, so, so typically when you pull back, I'm just going to go to this other pullback here. You've got these nice big candlestick, the body lengths. See how big they are? And you got a, bull, a bearish engulfing, which means it's going to go lower. And then it kind of does this hammer. It's got some wicks on the bottom. Usually when you get wicks on the bottom, it's about to reverse and go to the upside. Then we got a nice big bullish engulfing and we move higher. We've got the contraction here which means the candlestick body lengths, these big bodies, they're all contracted here. And they're, it's just traveling sideways, pulled up, pulled back, and then usually it, it fires on up. We've got nice big volume on the right-hand side here. I think it looks good. That's, that's me. I would be buying it. ISO Energy, uh, this one looks good as well. We got this pullback came right here. We got the nice small contracted body sticks, punched higher, sideways movement, and then usually they go, they kind of float on up. So that's looking pretty good. Gobiax Uranium. So nice. All these look great with this 50-day and the 200-day kind of just, they're all turning up, looking good. We got nice big volume here. Moving on higher. Nice teeny little pullback. Move on up. I mean, I'd just be holding on to this. No reason to sell any of these. Global Atomic, same thing. Nice big bullish engulfing here. The sideways movement, and then it's like, it's going to explode. Boom, boom. Shooting on higher. Laramide. Laramide looks really good. Looks like this thing's taken off. 
uh, on the hypothetical portfolio, I bought it on this hammer day. It seemed like it was like panic selling. So I bought some in the hypothetical portfolio. Uh, I already own Laramide. I think I bought it on the break uh, right in here. That's where I bought it. But this would have been an excellent day to buy some. But it's looking really good. It looks like it's breaking to the upside. I bet this could potentially continue to move to the upside. Looks really strong. Uh, here's Centris Energy. I know a lot of people on the channel ask about Centris. Uh, it is kind of low right here. So, I mean, maybe if you like it, it doesn't look too bad. Once it breaks 28, I think you're going to see this thing. It looks like there's some resistance. That's why you got this top wick up here. But once it breaks it, I think you'll see this thing really move. Uh, you're seeing that the lows, we got a low here. If this, if this holds, it's a higher low and we're kind of compressing up into the $28 area. So if you see this thing kind of move up and compress against the $28 area, and you might see a big move on up once it breaks through 28. Here is Forces Metals. And what I see here is I see a congestion period right here where it kind of all came up and, and contracted and condensed right here. And I call this the dead period. You have a series of higher lows coming up into a resistance area where it didn't really break this area. I mean, see how you've got the wick on the top, you've got sell off there, it would sell off, bounce his head again, sell off, but the lows just kept compressing into this 0.325 area. And then you've got the dead period with the small little candlesticks. This is where I would have been, I would have been a buyer all through in this area here. And then boom, it shot higher and it's running. It's, a cheetah, it's in cheetah mode right now. So that looks good. That's a that's a bolita there. Uh, Can Alaska, this one's looking pretty good too. Uh, this one we've got the pullback. It touched the 50-day and then gone. But this is this is breaking. This is going up there. I mean, this looks good. Night if if, if the Can Alaska finishes the day all the way strong like this, I like when they finish strong like that with the white candlestick body. Uh, very nice and strong, and probably will continue into the next trading session if it finished there. Next is Pure Point Uranium. This one, we've got a little downtrend here. You can, if you put the little downtrend, it broke that downtrend, popped up, came back, bounced off the 50-day, lots of buying. There's lots of buyers down here. That's why all the wicks are on the bottom here. Lots of buyers down there, and then we're heading on up. We broke this right here. I believe it's, it looks like there's something gravitating it and pulling it back. But once this breaks free of this little area in here, 0 0.08, we could see this move higher. Nice, good volume too, stepping in. Bannerman Resources. Uh, Bannerman, this is a tough one to kind of read. It's got all these black candlesticks, which means that open the day, it closed lower, but it was still an up day. And this thing has these black candlesticks everywhere. Um, but it looks good. Uh, nothing really too wor worrisome here. Uh, maybe this is a cup and then a little handle and then a, an explosion higher. We'll see what happens. Uh, Sky Harbor Resources, same with the black uh, candlesticks here. Uh, but this was a little downtrend break here. Went sideways in the dead. I call this the dead period where it just goes sideways back and forth. And then the break higher, pulled back, bullish engulfing, pulled up higher, pulled back, hammer, bullish engulfing. So this looks really good to me. Looks very strong. Standard uranium, strong like bull, that's for sure. Downtrend break, broke it right there. Pulled up, pulled back, you buy the back, you know, the, the, the pullback, bullish engulfing, I'd buy it right there this day or the next day, and then we're moving on up. This is a reversal pattern. It's step one, you break the downtrend. Step two, you make a higher, this is a higher low than this low. Step three is to break this. Now we're in a new uptrend. So standard uranium is a good one to look into, I think. Encore Energy, I think they diluted shares on this day. Uh, I don't, I think it was at zero up today, but uh, this one, I would just hold on. It's in this nice big uptrend. Just sit there, hold on, uh, hold on to it. Uh, this is CCJ taken from a weekly candlestick chart, a big picture view. I'm kind of swapping my views back and forth. Uh, you draw in this, this resistance line popped up back test, and now we're moving higher. So from a big picture perspective, this looks great. Deep yellow. We got the nice 50 day over the 200 day. We broke the 60 cent level. This one has a lot of resistance. Uh, it's a big cup and maybe even a little bit of a handle popped up. Sometimes they back test almost to the 60 cent level, which this could be considered a back test. And then we'll see what happens uh, afterwards. But that looks fantastic. 
And then Fission Uranium Corp, we've got this big downtrend. This is a weekly candlestick, multi-years, uh, but it broke everything. And that's why it's moving so quickly. So that looks great. Big, big picture view on Dennis and Mines. This thing's been on an absolute tear. Look at the volume over here, all the way up. My God. This had a lot of resistance in here. It was going sideways for many years. Broke that, pulled back a little, gone. And only pulled back here because of this trend line here. So very nice looking um, company. Would I be buying it right now? Probably not. I mean, that, that's gone up so much. I'm, I, I don't have Chase in my jeans. It just doesn't, doesn't, it's not there. And here is the uh, rare earth metal, strategic metals. I wanted to get this out in, fr in front of everybody. Look at this. We're breaking this massive pattern, guys. So you might break it. You might do a little bit of a back test. Maybe we see a back test tomorrow and then gone. So this one might be worth looking into if you like rare earth metals. Looking great. So that's what I see on the uranium sector. The uranium sector is, I mean, that is bullied to, to the max. Uh, these They're going crazy. Lots of money flowing in. Uh, is it going to continue? I don't know. Um, the momentum's definitely to the upside. I would not bet against it. That's for sure. And my take is I'm locked and loaded. I'm just riding this thing. I'm watching it, riding it. Uh, if I wasn't in the uranium sector, I'd be buying some of these that broke these very large chart patterns. Uh, base load's looking pretty good. It's still down. Um, standard uranium looked pretty good. Pure point looks good. Uh, blue sky. I don't know if I had blue sky in here, but that one, some of those look, they all look very good. They're all very cheap from a very big picture perspective. Uh, I would probably cost average in. I wouldn't just start throwing money everywhere. I'd do slow calculated movements if I wasn't in the sector already and I'd just kind of accumulate and accumulate and accumulate. Uh, that's the way that I like to purchase. These things can be extremely volatile. So prepare yourself for a really rough, I mean, just a wild ride up and down all over the place. Uh, you'll get used to it. Trust me, <laughs> if you're in the sector, uh, you get used to the volatility. And keep in mind, commodities are typically the most volatile uh, move, movers in all of the market. They also provide some of the greatest returns in the shortest periods of times, but you have to live with that volatility to get those great returns. So you guys have any comments on the uranium section? And, you know, that sector, put it in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, what do you own? What are your favorite uranium companies? And why are they your favorite? I am my favorite right now. I, I still like my top three base load for an, for an Explorer, uh, Deep Yellow, and Encore Energy. Uh, I like Bannerman as, as a play as well. Goviax is really good. I like a lot of the African, you know, Africa miners. Seems like they're going to be, they're going to develop their mines and produce from them at some point. And I think they have the least path or restriction to get there. Uh, my other favorite ones, uh, fission and next gen because of the deposits that they have and base load if they can find something they're in a great location uh, to eventually make it a mine uh, standard uranium pure point sky harbor all those uh, explorers i own all of those I, I own a lot of these i i really spread my money across uh quite well global atomic i own that one uh you 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 urg i don't worry i own them and denison mines i own a little bit in a lot. So uh, thank you for, for listening. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up and appreciate you guys listening. This is Finding Value.